Good evening and welcome back, or indeed just welcome if you're new to the channel. Highlights of three games today, starting with a Champions League semi-final tie against Man City. At the Etihad for the first leg of this crunch tie. It doesn't take long for our first chance, Merritt saving well from Kang and Lee. Minutes later and Xerxes misses from close range after being set up by Mudrick. Kang in turn provider now, but Mudruk's effort is very weak. Finding lots of joy down the right hand side, but Merritt again makes a world class save. Could this be one of those nights for Malaga? Zirkzi puts those fears to bed just midway through the first half. Zirkov finding some space down the left, squaring it for our striker who makes no mistake this time. It's Neuer's turn to be tested now, Mahrez truly thought he had scored, but strong hands from the regen German keeper. Into the second half now, and Vieira tries his luck from long range, a decent effort. Xerxes goes for the acrobatic volley, but fails to make any sort of decent connection. Still just with a one goal lead, but then Kangani plays a perfectly lofted ball through to Xerxes, great touch, and powers in with his left. Giobi finds himself through in stoppage time, but it's saved. Merritt really has kept City in this tie. A clean sheet away from home, but let's hope those chances don't come back to haunt us. Back in the league now, and this is our first match since we picked up the La Liga trophy. Looking to go undefeated this season. Circe looking to continue his fine form, but it's a good save from Jordi Massip. And then the striker heads wide from 10 yards out. 15 minutes in and Xerxes denied again. He may not have scored yet, but the home side are really struggling to defend against him. But then the breakthrough, Xerxes controls the ball well, lays it off to Mudrick, who fires home. Xerxes getting the assist. Oh, and what's that? There appears to be a sniper in the crowd. Takes out Martinelli. Penalty. But we have been shocking with penalties lately. Murdoch's team effort kept out. From the resultant corner, Kosnu almost finds a way through. But a second goal was soon to follow. Xerxes providing yet again. And our captain Martinelli finishing off the move. And almost straight from the kickoff, Modric wins the ball back. Some nice plays between Xerxes, Martinelli, and Pedri leads to the young Spaniard making it 3 0. Xerxes has been absolutely excellent so far today and he gets his reward in the 38th minute. A first time finish, thoroughly deserved for the youngster. Mudrick less five from 30 yards but it's well wide and we finish the half four goals up. The respite doesn't last long for the home side. Baka finding himself in on goal and a great finish with his weaker foot. Not quite sure what he was doing that for forward.
and just before being replaced, Xerxes fires over. What a great match this lad's had. His replacement, Ruben Castro, then repeats Xerxes' misses, shooting wide. And we're finding lots of space down this right-hand side. But Diaby's effort is held by Massip. Into the last 10 minutes, and Martinelli somehow fails to hit the back of the net, striking the woodwork, and the goalkeeper making an absolutely world-class save to deny Diaby. But Massip can't do anything from the resultant corner, costing it with a perfect looping header into the top left. Stoppage time, and the keeper may have let in six today, but he's actually been excellent, this time stopping Castro. And at six at full time, Xerxes fully deserving his Man of the Match award. The final game of the night, and it's our chance to get in the Champions League final. Taking a two goal lead back home, La Rosa Leda awaits. Man City really need a strong start to get back into this one. But disaster at the back and John Stones makes an absolute mess of it. Martinelli smashing home. No idea what the defender was doing there. City are clearly shaken. Seconds later Cash shows through but the goalkeeper makes a good save. And he's called in action again. Good reactions to stop Martinelli grabbing his second of the night. Xerxes playing on the right hand side today and he's in scintillating form at the moment. Showing pace, strength and the calmness to set up Mudrick for a four goal aggregate lead. And then out of nowhere, Kevin De Bruyne lashes in from 20 yards. Perhaps a glimmer of hope for City. Xerxes again playing a great ball to set up Castro. But the forward goes for far too much power. But it's three on the night soon after. Mudrick uncontested. Plays in Martinelli to grab a brace. Some poor defending by Malaga and a smart finish leads to Man City yet again keeping it interesting. A lovely finish from Haaland. Mere seconds later though and City's defence is in disarray, Martinelli getting a first half hat-trick. Circe should be doing better just after half time, blast and wide when three on goal. But he makes up for it and gets an assist soon after, Castro flying in from an angled finish. And a great bit of defending from Trippier, heading clear when Grealish looks certain to score from the cross. Some great work by Xerxes again and Castro denied by the keeper. Some substitutions, Castro going off and Xerxes switched the plane centrally up top and immediately it pays off, slotting in from Martinelli's through ball. And he gets another soon afterwards, some unselfish play from Fabio Vieira and Xerxes makes no mistake. Uh, 
Milan, Hlozek then has a miss of the season contender. I think the away team are ready for the final whistle now. And only an outstanding save from Vita Udez stops Martinelli grabbing yet another goal. Just to rub salt into the wounds, Mariba wraps things up with the very last kick of the game, lashing in after a Xerxy flick. That's eight goals on the night. And we're through to a yet another final. Martinelli and Xerxy were absolutely unstoppable today. And the Champions League final will be against our league rivals Real Madrid, an all Spanish affair. And that's all for today, some big matches coming up including back to back games against the Los Blancos with a Copa del Rey trophy up for grabs. I think the uh, two teams are going to be sick of the sight of each other by the end of the season. But as always, thank you for joining once again and I'll see you all next time. Cheers.